Hi everyone, Callie here. Today I'm going to go through the biggest pad haul of my life. I started off in an out of town Lego store where I got these three cups. And I just want to say that I am new to YouTube and so the quality isn't the best, but I am learning as I go, so please be patient. Uh, so let's start with the first one. Okay. As all good pad cups should, they should fall apart as you open them because it means you got your money's worth. Um, these are not the best pad, pack, pad cups I've ever done in my life because uh, I just didn't have the time, you know, to, to sit there and do it all. I was with someone and, and I had stuff to do. So, you know, when you're short in time, you just kind of fill it up and hope for the best. Otherwise, I could have stacked all these two by profile bricks um, and I would have got a lot more in the cup. But pad cups are such great value, so I'm not going to be too terribly upset every now and then. So, as you can see, I got some uh, great um, spider webs, which are great for, for Halloween. Um, I got a haunted house in there now and kind of put a few of them around the city and kind of give it a Halloween feel, which I'm pretty excited about. It's also great for, you know, Spider-Man. I got a lot of Spider-Man being a big Marvel fan. There are a few fence elements in here. I have some of these from, uh, I think it was the VIP pack. So this is pretty exciting to, um, to have more of those, uh, create a nice feel around the city. In the same vein, they had the curved ones, which is you know, beautiful for, for doing some, some more interesting framework. Um, I got a whole bunch of these. I honestly don't really know what I'm doing that for. I like to get parts and have an idea of what they're for. Uh, maybe like sinks, um, you know, could something like that. But it seemed like it's such a great part that somewhere in my life I'm going to want to use that. So I got a, got a whole bunch of those in here. Uh, we've also got Plenty of trophies, um, probably way more than I will ever need, but they're great for just decorating the house, um, that kind of thing. So can never go wrong with a few trophies, right? And then what is mostly in this cup are these uh, dark gray uh, profile bricks. Um, I mean, these are just fantastic for adding texture to buildings and you can never really have enough of them in your inventory when you're trying to build mocks, uh, saves you having to buy the pieces, which is just fantastic. And you'll see that there are tons of these in here. I thought I probably missed out on these. I've seen on YouTube some other people had these on their pad wall, and I am thrilled. If you don't know what they are, they're for connecting your minifigures. Um, so it will just add a lot of dimension to my city to have minifigures lying around, and also Things like um, like your your flying models or whatever that are on the shelves, you can instead of having the minifigures just sitting in front of the, the the builds, you can put them on these and have just a little bit more of a dynamic display. So I got a bunch of these um, because I'll never go wrong. I actually paid money for them from from Pap, so that's pretty exciting. Um, there's quite a lot of these tiles in here. Uh, I actually got some in another cup I'm going to show you as well from a different store. I was thinking these were great for, for tiling, um, but also like if you can think about like doing something like this, uh, creating a nice kind of roof kind of impression. So that's pretty, pretty thrilling. Um, there are a lot of these pieces in here. I started getting some of them because I was like, I have some Black Widow minifigs that didn't come with these. Um, so getting a few of those, but you'll see there's a lot of them, especially in the second cup. Uh, I started to think about like creating some sort of fun waterfall kind of system with them. So I'm not really quite sure what I can do there, but creating like a nice wall with rods was something I thought would be pretty cool. And then I got some of these two by black jumpers. Hopefully it's a bit dark, you can't quite see it, but that's never gonna go wrong, right? So that's mostly what's in this cup. This next cup is a mishmash of everything and anything. Um, so, you know, I threw more, some more of those profile bricks, some more of those. I got some of these lavender pieces. I actually got some of these bigger ones in a previous pad. So these are the smaller tree limbs. Um, this will be fun to kind of put. No, I'm mistaken. These are the bigger tree limbs. I have some of the smaller ones. Sorry. Uh, so these will be fun to put in the, uh, like on trees, create a nice thing. I also got a whole bunch of these. Now you'll also see down here, there's the the yellow heads and there's actually some yellow heads over there as well. Um, although the modular, the modulars use these. So having some extra of these for the city is obviously fantastic. And I also need them for my winter village. So I put a whole bunch of them in here 
Um, I'm going to have to actually make a mess here just to kind of show you what else is in this cup. Ah, oh, this was the, this was great. I was, I was uh, looking at the pad wall thinking, oh, what do I need? What do I need? And I saw some, uh, I think it's gray arches like this. I was like, oh man, if only they had medium nugget. And the Lego boy was like, it's right there. And I like went, oh my God, I'm so excited. Um, this is exactly what I need to fix my sit complex because I used some crazy arches. Um, so having these in stock is just, oh, it's still like a dream come true. Uh, this part fell on the floor. I got, I got some of these rounded ones. I actually got more of these too in the next cup I'm gonna show you a little bit later. And they had the windows, so thrilling. I got some of these uh, tan jumpers, um, pretty cool uh, piece. Um, great for like texture and stuff for, for walkways, but also I've seen a few people uh, stack these and put a rod in the middle and create like a palm tree effect. I didn't really get enough to do that because I don't really have plans for palm trees, but if I struggle to find a use for them, I can always do that. Um, they also had some red flags. Can never go wrong with flags, right? I got a castle, I got an army, like, Flags are great, like you can't go wrong with that. I'm looking at this cup and I'm like, what else is in here? Um, we got some of the, the half round, quarter round uh, peach. I just thought this would be fun for maybe doing like a nice like walkway area or something. Um, can never go wrong with that, I don't think. And I, oh yeah, I'm sure you saw, but I got the, the slightly larger like gray arches as well. So that's pretty, pretty fun. And then the, the clear heads to go with the lampposts and more of those uh, blue um, battens, I guess. I'm not really sure what poles, so I'm not really sure what you want to call them. And lots of those mini thick things. That was um, fantastic. And then the third cup I got at this store, da 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 is mostly kind of the same-ish parts that you're seeing in the other cups, except this one has the white profile bricks in it. Um, in addition to that, I got a lot more of these curved things. I got the more fence elements. I got some, some stairs, uh, not stairs, ladders. Huh? They're not stairs, they're ladders, which always fantastic, right? Every time you make a mock and you're trying to create uh, something, you can do that. Uh, the white profile brick, I got so excited. Winter Village season, uh, always great to, to have something like that when you're trying to be a little creative. And then I'm not going to pull it all out, but down here you can see I got a couple of these uh, big white dish elements um, just to kind of do that. So pretty great haul, right? I was pretty excited um, to do that at this out of town store. And then I stopped at my Lego store on the way home just to see if they had something great. So let's take a look and see what I got there. They weren't quite as exciting a set of pieces as there was at the out of town one, but plenty of things to fill a cup without, oh, not the camera there, sorry about that. Uh, plenty of pieces to fill the cup without being too upset. Uh, first off, I got these cute little heart uh, tiles just for decorating and throwing around and, and, and being like just a nice detail to have on there. Got some, just a few sand green uh, bricks there. This is pretty cool. I actually grabbed a whole handful of these, these print elements. Uh, the amount of times that, you know, I do like the creativity of Lego of how they create these uh, um these tells and things i've seen some really great bolts for those and uh, official and unofficial models but this is pretty sweet so i couldn't say no to a print piece like this on the pad wall i've got a whole bunch of them probably 20 30 of them in here pretty excited about that i got a few more of those curve elements that i got in the previous cup uh, I got some of these little these little wheels um i'm honestly not 100 percent sure what i'm gonna do with them but they look pretty cute and don't take up a lot of space, so I got them. I got some orange brick just for, uh, for anything I might want to build for Halloween, like a nice, or like fall, like a nice harvest kind of thing. I'm actually short of brown chairs. I have a lot of chairs in like yellow and blue, but I don't have a lot of brown. So I put a few of them in there uh, just to, you know, have on hand if I ever want to build something that needs them. Uh, there's actually kind of a hodgepodge in here, so I'm just gonna make a mess and then lift things up and show you. Ah! Oh, hurts. Hurts to see pieces like this, but that's fine. 
they have these uh great uh i think they call profile bricks as well i'm not actually sure but the, you know the one with the ridge on one side and then the ridge going the other way um these are actually really great for creating um uh, stacks of, of hay. Um, you put them together, it kind of looks like that for horses. So I got a few of those. They had these, uh, the green leaf elements. So I got a few, a few more of those. They, I have a lot of them, but honestly, they never go wrong. Um, they have these. Now, these were in the Halloween section, the fall section. And I have a lot of these in a lot of, a lot of different colors, especially in light blue gray. But I thought these are pretty sweet for, you know, making like little firemen, uh, you know, the little gun things, extinguishers, there you go. Um, and that kind of thing. So I got some of them. Uh, who doesn't need some connectors? And I got more of those because I thought I didn't really get enough for doing the tiling idea that I had. So I pushed more in. You'll also notice that there's a lot of uh, flowers that are both yellow and red. They had them on the Pavel and I was like, this is great. I have a lot of pink. I don't have a lot of red and yellow, so red especially, Winter Village, fantastic. Um, yellow is just a nice pop of color. I did get a few uh, red uh, slopes, just to have in the part inventory. And more green slopes I, uh, are always great for doing some, some green, uh, green work. I got a few of these grill elements. I thought this was just a fun like texture and could bring something you know nice to the top, like top of a building maybe. Um, or just look like the start of a fire escape. So not going to go wrong there. So that was fun. And then the major piece that I got were these, uh, I don't know what you call them, like the, the little round, the rounded pieces in white, which for my winter village are going to be fantastic just to top off the maybe top of a, a structure, um, will be really fun to do that. So that's cool. That's what I got there. So, you know, just a normal cup, nothing too crazy. Um, I did buy set while I was there, but we're talking pab today. So that's fine. And um, that was on Monday. But then I went back to the Lego store, same Lego store on Thursday, because that's when they get their pab shipment. And let's just say I got a lot. I walked into the store and I went straight to the pab wall and I started seeing pieces that got me really excited. First off, I saw some of these blue cheese wedges phenomenal right when you want to do water work you need blue cheese wedges they also had these tiles fantastic i got so excited about that and they had these which you know when you're trying to like put mini figures or raise your boats or do any sort of like uh raising work in your city you're gonna want those so i got really excited and then i turned around and right behind me they had the Holy Grail masonry bricks. So they had them, uh, the four buys in the uh, in the tan, right? So excited! You're allowed to get two cups each. So she, the nice manager lady, put two cups of of, of that one in there, and then next to it. Was <laughs> light bluish gray masonry bricks. I was giddy. I was like, oh my God, is this real? Is this actually happening? And she's like, yes. And I'm like, how much can I have? She was like, two bags. I'm like, fantastic. So before I'd even started looking at the wall and filling cups, I had four pap cups, which already made it the biggest pap cup order of my life. And I wasn't even remotely finished. So I got those. And then next to that, with these amazing transparent blue two by ones. Again, I'm gonna use them for water work, but honestly, you could see, you know, you could stack these and make these like really fun window elements. Um, I could have got two bags, but I thought one was probably enough for that um, because I didn't have a clear plan other than using it for water. And I thought one bag of that was good for water work. I only brought five empty cups with me. And I filled the five and I still needed more space. So this is the first cup I started to put together, which has a lot of these um, two by two by one by six. I don't know, clear elements, brilliant for minifigure work. I threw some more of these in. I got a couple in the previous cups, but I was like, these were great. And I didn't really get enough of them to justify anything. I also threw in some of the red transparents. I thought, 
while they're not going to grate for water, I thought, you know, just like I showed you before, you could do something fun with that to create like a nice kind of tile, um, no, sorry, stained glass kind of effect. So I got some of those. I got a lot of this tile because you can't really go wrong with a dark tan two by two tile. It's perfect for, for creating a nice, nice walkway area. They had these which are phenomenal, right? And then I had so many flower elements, so I got a lot of the, the red and the yellow that I showed before. And then, like I said, they had uh, the windows. So I got so many windows right now. I, I got tons of them between all the, the bags that I have in here. Um, and then I, I got a bunch of these. So they'll fit, so I'm gonna spend a lot of my day putting, putting some of these together so they're ready to go, and then have an idea of how many extra windows that I have. Um, so that was one cup. That's so much Lego for one cup. Now they actually sort of fell apart in my bag. They didn't have tape. So I have a bag and it's sort of full of, uh, sort of a mess. But this cup is basically three elements. It's a lot of these blue cheese wedges. It's a lot of those transparent tiles. And then down here, hopefully you can see, they've got the sand blue one by one tiles. Phenomenal piece for tiling off sidewalks um, it's good it, it just goes so well with light bluish like the light bluish gray it's a beautiful color and I couldn't say no they had so many of them and this is like pab cups are the cheapest way to get anything of this kind of size so one cup is basically those three pieces as I say they're, they're sort of there's a bag full of pieces I can show you in a bit so the tops have fallen off I got really excited about the the trans blue, I'm gonna do so much more to work with them. I got a lot more of those pieces of the, the one by ones in there. I also got a bunch of these. These are great for ships and uh, they're in a lot of Marvel sets. So I got a, I got a little handful of them, maybe eight or something or 10 maybe. Uh, I'm not really 100% sure what I'm gonna do with them, but I figured that um, in Marvel universe, they won't go wrong. I also got a few more of these lovely little uh, sort of cart like wheels. Uh, I got a few horses uh, in, a, in a recent shipment, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, and then I just sort of finished off the cup with some more flowers. The next cup, ah, as you can see, it sort of fell about in there. So I got a lot of the same similar sort of pieces, but I also threw in some of this lovely olive green uh, plate. Uh, it just looked like a really nice kind of color and texture. And I thought with all the flower elements I've got, it could be a really nice part to go in the sort of greenery area that I'm trying to create. So that's fun. Um, a few more lampposts, just, you know, they can never really go wrong with those. I realized that with my Winter Village, I probably need quite a few. We got more of those tiles, more of those circular grates with the tiles in the middle, and then uh, the window elements as well. A lot of those in there. And obviously I started the bottom of the cup with these quarter wedges because they fill up that weird shape really, really well very exciting. The next cup. Oh, it's basically a cup of those wedges because I can't, I can't go wrong. I kind of went crazy with the wedges because they are the perfect piece. Um, I do want to get some of the lighter ones and probably some of the trans clear ones just to kind of make a nice sort of effect when they're right there in front of you and they're like $16 for a whole cup of them. You gotta take things when they're going. And then this last cup is a little bit more of a hodgepodge. Um, I got more of those leaf elements the energy came out when I had these. You want them? And I was like, ah, uh, no, but I can't say no to leaf elements because they're, they make the city look so good. More of the quarter, the, the one by one sand blue, some more of the tile. I got some more of those pieces, uh, for the winter village. I got plenty of some more of those in there. I got some more grates because I decided that I could probably do something fun in town with the texture of those. There are a few more spider uh, webs in there too. So a really fun kind of cup of that. And then just to kind of, oh, this bag is so sad. Uh, they had some four by four light blue gray that I made to the cup toppers. Uh, I also got some more um, ladders, some more uh, arches there as well. And they also have these, I actually got quite a lot of them in this bag. I just, I'll show you the bag in a minute, but it's just kind of a mess of like mostly the same pieces that you can see up there. There's a lot of these, uh, a lot of them. 
in there as well. But they also had these three by three. Uh, I'm not sure what their official color is, but I'm just gonna call it like navy blue. And I thought like this with like some wedge work, kind of like this, could create a really fun, like deep sea kind of area. Um, so I actually have got quite a few of these pieces in there. They're nice and small and can create like little little islands of detail. So yeah, this is the rest of the bag. You can see it's a lot of parts in there. Uh, some really good tiles, arches, um, some more of those tree elements. And of course there's tons more of those wedges in there. So it was quite the haul. Overall, it was 15 pop cups. Thank you so much for watching me go through them all. Remember to like and subscribe and stay tuned to find out what I do with all these parts. Have a great day.